Good morning, happy day 21. We are going to go plant our two seed packets. Today it's beetroot and it's also some more beautiful flowers. The flowers today are zinnias, but they're a peppermint stick, which I think is so festive and so appropriate. But first I need to feed the chickens and let me give you an update. <coughs> So we've got our little hens in here, which Sam's brother gave it a bit of a makeover. Let me feed them and I'll tell you about it. Enough for you, darling. Enough for you. Hey, good friends. No escaping. No, no <laughs> escaping. Right, I've got to close up. So as you can see behind me in this coop that originally we built for the geese, we now have our four new hens. These are Pigeon's babies. She's one of our chickens. And they're going to grow up to live in this coop. Some of the free range chickens that always get out will live here as well. And essentially once they get used to the coop and being here and coming back here, they're going to be a lot safer than my passion fruit vine. <laughs> and then we'll be able to also make this into like a egg collecting area with the milk crates. And yeah, it's going to be a cool thing moving forward. It's not that I excluded the roosters, I just couldn't get them in last night. So they're all out here. I'm at my school today for some professional development and I thought I'd take you through our school grounds, the orchards and the different little garden beds that are set up for the kids to pick from. At the very front where we sit for assembly, we have a strawberry garden and we also have these two trellises that normally we have peas growing on or something that climbs. At the moment there's just parsley and surprisingly the kids still eat it. <laughs> As we go further to the back of the school, there's a beautiful orchard that was put in after the bushfires and I can't wait to take you through it. There is so much fruit and so many trees that are coming to fruit this year that hopefully I'll get to pick from. There's a loquat tree, there's some mulberry trees, apple trees, grapes, peaches, nectarines, apricots, raspberries, blackberries, tomatoes, lettuces, the list goes on. So let me show you through these videos. This orchard was put in and is organized and also maintained by the groundskeeper, but also the parent committee who comes in and helps the kids with planting things and also pruning and maintaining the different trees. You can see that they've kind of taught them to grow along the fence line, which is cool. And there's even some bush foods that hopefully they'll plant in very soon. Of course, no orchard is complete without a compost pile and all of the food scraps that are made by the kids go to the compost pile, which then goes onto the garden. Did you know Fajoa petals are actually edible? I'm not gonna tell the kids that so that I can keep having that snack. <laughs> there is so much fruit coming in. I even noticed for the first time corn and beans on the outside of the orchard, so that's really cool. black ones. I did not know we had beans here. Are there any? There's little ones. Very cool. 
Ein Phone. You guys know what this is. The school has recently put in some nesting boxes for micro bats as well as lorikeets. So those are around on the trees and are pretty cool. Um, and there's also a few other orchard types of trees that might just be ornamental but could have fruit as well throughout the grounds. I hope you enjoy this little tour of our orchard. Just something a little bit different and something I've been wanting to share for a while. Let's talk bus. Let's talk the bus.